a nightmare more terrifying than any other. A nightmare that has haunted thousands of people all over the world. It felt as if there was a male presence there who was evil. I can remember seeing this, this figure in the doorway. I just knew it was female. A presence comes into the room, paralyzes its victim, then leaps on their body and assaults them. It hits me so hard at times where it just knocks me off my mattress. She's choking me so hard that I think that my voice box is going to uh, collapse. Sometimes it's a shadowy figure. Sometimes an old hag. Sometimes a demon. But whatever shape it takes, the entity, as it is often called, has concrete effects, leaving its victims battered and exhausted, their lives in pieces. Sufferers are sure that when you sleep, they are awake. And it is real. Science, psychology, and religion have all grappled with this phenomenon. Can any explain? Monday, April 15th. Last night I woke up frozen in fear. I couldn't move. My heart was pounding, and I could have swore something was moving around behind me. Was it just a dream? Thursday, April 17th. It happened again. I opened my eyes, but I couldn't move. I keep hearing the floorboards creak like someone or something is walking around. But I Saturday, can't turn my head April to see 19th. what it is. It's happening After more frequently. Of pure terror, I'm going to call the doctor and make an appointment. It's There's getting nothing to the point where I'm afraid to close my eyes. I'm getting so tired. Wednesday, April 23rd. I saw a doctor today. He told me I'm experiencing sleep paralysis. He prescribed me something to help me sleep. Tomorrow, I'm going to go to the library and find some books about it. Thursday, April 24th. I did some researching on this sleep paralysis the doctor told me I have. I think it freaked me out more. I keep reading about this entity people experience when it happens to them. They say this thing sits on their chest and they can't breathe. <sighs> I don't like this.
with a, a presence uh, in the room. I was paralyzed in the bed. He seemed like a shadow. Probably about six foot five. Well over six foot. Very tall. And it was singing, singing on my chest. Sitting on top of my chest. The lady was old and haggard. She had strongly gray hair. Kind of an old woman standing in front of me. And there was an, an old lady. This just was not a nightmare. I know that I am awake when this happens. Can't escape from this entity that has entered your room. It's a feeling of perhaps the greatest terror that one can imagine. Wednesday, April 30th. Things are getting scary. It doesn't just happen when I'm in bed, but anywhere. I was taking a bath and closed my eyes, then all of a sudden the door opened. I swore I saw a figure standing there. Was I sleeping? Thursday, May 1st. I read about this couple that were sitting on the couch watching TV. The girl saw this black figure walk out of the bathroom down the hall. The man turned to her and asked her if she saw it. The thing is, he was asleep and she was awake when this happened. Saturday, May 3rd. It's getting worse. I swear I'm awake when I see this woman. I read that people have been seeing her for hundreds of years. In Newfoundland, they call her the Old Hag. In parts of the US, she's known as the Witch. In Egypt, she's known as the Jinn. Whatever she is, I don't want to see her anymore.